What's up you guys, it's your boy Gonzo back with another video and today's gonna be a short juicy video. I do apologize if you can hear the wind in the background, but I wanna do a quick review. Well, I bought a product off Amazon. I've seen it on a lot of cars and I wanted to go ahead and try it out for myself. And pretty basic, pretty simple, not expensive at all. It was only like, I think nine bucks. So without further ado, let me show you what it is. All right guys, so let me show you what I bought off Amazon. Like I said already, it was only like eight or nine bucks, but I went ahead and I bought some reflective car tape. As you can see, if the camera can catch that, it's like a snaky kind of like texture to it. So they do have a lot of colors on these. They have like black and gold, yellow, lime green. I just went ahead and stick with the basic red. Um, I want to try it out. It seems super cool. I think a lot of people kind of overdo it in my opinion. So I want to try it out for myself. So. A lot of you don't know, but I bought a diffuser for the car. I wanted to make an install video, but honestly, it was so difficult. I bought this diffuser used on OfferUp. I got it for like 175 bucks. These go for 650 bucks. Let me show you guys the diffuser. As you can see, it is the Aeroflow diffuser. It is a little bit dented right there, but honestly, for 175 bucks, you can't really complain. And yes, I did put a pin strip already on it. I'm gonna take it off and replace it with this one that pretty much glows in the dark. But yeah, so. Pretty simple, all you need guys is a knife. Oh, by the way, if you're not following me, follow your boy Gonzo right there. But anyways, um, all you need is a little knife, cut the tape up. I wanna do all this all over again with this tape. Then I kinda wanna do like a little access on the sides of the car and the front of the car. So without further ado, let's get started. I think the girls with their nails done now. update it's a mess right now and honestly I'm not really liking how it's coming out I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing is I'm getting the tape and I'm kind of like folding it in half so I'm putting the strip nice and straight the folding it in half but overall it's it's just really hard to work with as you can see it's kind of coming up right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take everything off again and what I'm gonna do next is just lay it flat on here that's gonna look a lot better I still have quite a few you know feet left of tape so we're gonna try to make it work because as you can see, it's just, the camera's not focusing, but overall, you, you can see right there, like it's not really, come on camera, focus on me, focus on me. Yeah, anyways, the camera's not wanting to focus, but overall, it's not looking good. It's coming off all ugly, so go ahead, take this off again. One thing is, it's very sticky though, but how to explain it? If you stick it on a surface, it kind of slides off. So I'm gonna take everything back off again, redo it, and I'll show you guys the end product. Alrighty guys, so change of plans. I mean, I try to do it differently. I try to put it flat on here, which yeah, it looks a lot more better, honestly, but overall, you can't really tell at all it's there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the rest of the, uh, the reflective tape I have, just put it like in my front bumper, or like in this front splitter, put back my old one that I used, the uh, pinstripe I got from AutoZone, and you know, hey, stuff happens, you learn, and I got quite a few left, so let's make the best out of it, guys. So, all right, guys, so front bumper is complete, looks pretty dope, but honestly, I had a, I have a really good idea. I think it might work. Let's, let's try it out. All right, guys, sorry about that. The camera ended up dying. But anyways, this video ended up being more like a product review. Personally, I wouldn't recommend to buy the uh, reflective pin strip tape. It just, it's too thick, it doesn't bend well. Um, the stickiness is not that good. And overall, it's just not worth it. It was only eight bucks, so I personally, I'm not tripping about it. It was a learning experience. I did end up using um, that reflective pin strip right along the top of the bumper, see how it goes. I put the old pin strip back I got from AutoZone. Uh, I suggest, Keep buying that one from AutoZone or O'Reilly's. That one was the best bang for your buck. This one was only like eight bucks, so I'm not even tripping about it. Uh, everything's learning experience. Bendigos perros. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was quick. Um, it's kind of a fail, but at the same time, we all live and we learn. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends and family. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay tuned because I got another product. I'm going to install my car, and y'all going to like this one. So stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. So, hey, no, it's not expensive. Ugh. Alrighty, guys, like I said, I brought this uh, behind you when you're driving and die. Ugh.